Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning light on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're gonna learn about the recursion in C++. In C++, the functions are said to be recursive functions if they call themselves. For example, all of you guys know how to write a function in your program. So for example, let's say void display and uh, to execute the statements inside this display function we need to call this display function in our main function so a recursive function is nothing but a function calling itself for example here this display function is going to call itself when executing the statements so if it's confusing don't worry you know when we write the code it's going to be clear all right in this tutorial for the demonstration purpose we're going to write a uh, function which is going to calculate or find the factorial of a number which is passed to it recursively or by calling itself so if you guys don't know about you know what is this factorial for example let's say if you want to find the factorial of 3 or 3 factorial it's going to be 3 into 2 into 1 similarly if you want to find the factorial of 5 then it's going to be 5 into 4 into up to 1 so we can say that a factorial of a number n is going to be n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 similarly up to 1 in other words a factorial of n n factorial is equal to n into n minus 1 factorial so we're gonna use this technique and write a function which is gonna calculate the factorial of a number recursively so let me call that function as factorial so it's gonna be and our function is gonna return an integer value so it's gonna be int and factorial the function name and it's gonna take a parameter so it's gonna be int and let's call n all right the next thing is when you write a recursive function there should be a point where that function stop calling itself or there should be a point where the recursive call ends otherwise the function is going to call itself infinite times and uh, your program will be in the infinite loop so to avoid that there must be a terminal condition in a recursive function so here in this case to find a factorial we can stop finding the factorial when this n value becomes 1 so what we're gonna do is we're gonna write if n equal to 1 then we want to return value of 1 that's it else we're gonna return n into factorial the same function name of n minus 1 so here what happens is let's say our value is 3 at that time this statement will fail and it's gonna return 3 into factorial of n minus 1 again this function is called now 2 is passed and again 3 into 2 into factorial of 1 is gonna be 1 and this value will be returned so 6 will be returned all right the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna call this factorial function in our program and before that we need to do the function prototyping so I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it before my main function and uh, add a semicolon there and here this factorial function is gonna return integer value so I'm gonna use C out and I'm gonna call a function directly I'm not gonna create any variables to store the value and uh, I'm gonna pass the value let's say we want to find the factorial of number 5 so I'm gonna save it I'm gonna build and run this it says 120 so here factorial of 5 means 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so 20 into 3 60 into 2 120 so a recursive function is a function which calls itself and uh, in a recursive function there must be a point where the recursive call stops or the function stops calling itself 
and this is it thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you guys have any doubt don't hesitate to ask us and uh, you guys can like our facebook page to stay updated with our new video tutorials thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in the next tutorial